guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we have a primark haul today i feel like it's been the longest time since i've done a primark haul i did pop in last week i think it was in a vlog last week showed you around some new in bits from primark i went to the trafford center one in manchester and i got some goodies we've got a couple of bags with bits down here we've also got some clothes which i've got on my new rail which i've set out which i thought would be nice and easy to be able to show you them try them on and so you can see what they look like on me and yeah show you a new in primark haul i have to say i was very impressed with the selection and i have also seen that they have more autumn winter goodies in that i really want to get my hands on so i may have to do another visit to the manchester city center one which is much bigger and better very very soon but yeah without further ado if you want to see what i got from primark make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink get the snacks light the candles put your feet up get the cozy blankets because it is the season i've got my ring light on because it's too dark to film without it now it is very much the colder dark months which i'm all for and yeah really happy about but anyway get cozy get comfy and let's get into it before i do share with you the lovely gorgeous bits that i picked up from primark i do firstly have a video sponsor for today so very kindly sleep and glow have sponsored today's video and i have been trialing the omnia pillow i have tried products from sleep and glow before i'm not new to them they are a gorgeous brand with loads of amazing things on their website they've got like really nice um pillowcases it's all as the name suggests sleep and glow very much a brand with the ethos of protecting your skin less damage to basically giving you the best night's sleep you can have not gonna lie so this is the omnia pillow they do have other pillows suited to you your sleeping type your desires whatever it is that you need so check out the website we'll leave a link to them down below this omnia pillow essentially it has it's designed for back and side sleepers especially side sleeper over here it essentially has these contours and grooves and cutouts which allow you to sleep without wrinkling up and scrunching up your face which ordinary pillows will do so yeah better for your skin helps reduce wrinkles puffiness and yeah this is the branding and the pillowcase that comes with it but again they do have other kind of silk pillowcases so for those of you that maybe sleep on your side sleep on your stomach that kind of like pressure on your cheeks and your side of your face ultimately leads to wrinkles which is kind of inevitable if you think about it having your face sort of scrunched up or let's face it most of us sleep around eight hours a night it's a long time for your face to be squished into a certain position so these contours grooves and cutouts allow you to rest your head nicely against the um the support without the actual skin coming into contact with a more pressured pillow situation that again like i say scrunches up your face this support for your neck if you're a back sleeper with a kind of dip here for the back of your head if you are a back sleeper as well but i have been really enjoying this i feel it, it just feels like when you wake up and you just have that less stiffness in your shoulders and your neck which i couldn't be prone to so i had to share with you this pillow in particular with that kind of 3d design helping you to look fresh well rested in the morning and yeah just essentially allows your face to just float it's honestly such a luxury as it is designed by orthopedics not only does it have the benefit to your wrinkles your skin but it also helps you to sleep anatomically in the sort of the correct body position for your whole spine neck and yeah I feel like i just want to come in closer just to show you what i mean by if i was to sleep on my side with this kind of pressure here from a pillow not only do you have that kind of pressure and side wrinkles around here but you also have it here is it the nasolabial region and then also of course on your like chin area as well i will leave a link to them in the description box thank you to them for kindly sponsoring today's video and without further ado let's get into the haul one thing to note with it being breast cancer awareness month i did notice they were doing a lot to support the charities and this bag in particular for a pound and also at the checkout they're asking do you want to donate a pound on top of your shop to breast cancer charities which i thought was brilliant so yeah I think they said they raised, they raised, how much they raised? It says on here. A total of 250,000 between our selected charity partners in the EU, UK and US. And who knows when this was 
created this label so it's probably a lot more than that now and I did actually notice pretty much everyone was saying yes which I really liked so yeah anyway the first thing that I'm going to get out from this bag is some gorgeous cozy slippers like I say it is the season to get cozy and how cozy are these they're very much kind of like duping the crossover white company style slippers that everyone knows and loves those ones are usually about 35 to 40 pounds these ones which have a memory foam base in this beautiful natural beige color I've actually taken the labels off and worn these already but I think they were seven pounds yeah seven pounds and I got them in a large which is a seven to eight I would say size up I'm usually like a six to six and a half another pair of shoes and this time some boots. I thought these were perfect for any kind of an outfit that requires a knee high flat boot that's just simple. There's no additional hardware or faff, it's just a simple black boot. I got them in a size seven. I did buy a pair recently from And Other Stories, which I did show on my Instagram as well. And although they fit me in there nice and everything, they actually weren't that comfy so I can be quite fussy with my feet more so than most so I would say still try those because of their real leather they'll probably give but I just thought I just don't think I'll end up wearing them because of that reason and they were an investment piece these however were 23 pounds so a good state and they're more comfy let me just say that as well. I feel like these with like leggings and a thick pair of socks or tights with, I, th I feel like as long as I've got a decent pair of socks on with these, I'm gonna be good to go. So yeah, good classic staple black pair of boots. Got a couple of other random goodies in here and this again, so seasonal and cozy, but £4.50, just a classic cable knit designed beanie hat, which I just feel like beanie hats for me just make me think of Bailey's Hot Chocolate and Christmas Markets. Speaking of Christmas, they had out all of their Christmas homeware. If you saw from that vlog, there was so much that I could have picked up and I resisted. But honestly, their Christmas selection this year is better than their autumn selection was, I will say that. I couldn't resist these few finds. So I'll start with this gorgeous candle. How beautiful is the label on that candle? Cinnamon spice, it's in like a red velvet with a red velvet bow as well. <gasps> so pretty. Burns up to 30 hours, it smells okay as well. So I do feel like some Primark candles just have, they don't have the best smell, but this one, although it's the cinnamon spice, I feel like I can smell quite a bit of apple in there, so it's quite fruity. That one was six pounds. I also got these two home fragrance products. Firstly, this Christmas tree scented ornament. It's one of these hanging ceramics that you can spritz with a certain smell. It comes already scented. So let's try here. Scratch and sniff that. Scratch and sniff isn't very strong. But it's in the scent Christmas tree. You can just spritz these with, you know, like white company that do fir tree spray that you can just spritz in the room. But this one was only two pounds and they had a little gingerbread one as well. And then I also got this set of three fragrance oils, which I thought I could use in my electronic oil diffuser. And these were only four pounds. When you think of white company and neon and things like that, whereby each oil is sort of 10 to 12 pounds. Four pounds for a set of three. I'm hoping I'm gonna like these and they're not just gonna smell awful. <laughs> but we've got the scents sage and cedar, which sounds so nice, apple and cinnamon, and then orange and sandalwood as well. So we've now reached the clothing section and the first item that I have to share with you is these jeans. Now these are actually from the Primark Edit range. If you know me, you'll know that I love I go on about this Primark edit range. It is a slightly elevated sort of section within Primark, so the prices are slightly higher, but I do find the quality and longevity of the fabrics and the cut and everything is so much better. I've got a couple of edit pieces in here, but I'm gonna firstly show you these Primark jeans on. I did get them in a size 10, and actually all of these items, I haven't tried any of them on yet, so some of them might not fit, I might have to exchange. Um, I've just actually noticed the back pocket on this. It's got like one of these leather patches that just says the edit. I think I'm going to try it on firstly with this 
uh, basic vest, which is also from the edit ring. This in a small is in like a gorgeous charcoal colour. It's ribbed as well, if you can see there. And the price for this one is £8. So let's try these two on together. So I have to admit these jeans, although they fit quite nicely, I did think that they were going to be more of a straight leg. But they're not. They're actually quite skinny. And they're also quite long, a bit too long for me. So I will probably send these back. But otherwise, the fit around the waist and the back and everything, it doesn't gape. It is a really nice fit around the waist. But yeah, it's just not what I thought they were going to be. They're just too skinny for me. And then the vest I love. It's just a really nice classic basic. It's one of these racer style ones, which if you know, I've got my little trick that I like to do with these little attachments that you pop with the, um, like on the back of your bra straps to make your bra a racer back. So I'll leave those linked as well. Cause I feel like a few of you would uh, benefit from knowing about those. I am just going to, um, which one should I show? Let me try this jacket on with just with what I've got on. Now this was quite expensive. It's forty pounds. I picked it up in a medium, and again this is Primark Edit, but they did have a matching skirt to go with it. They didn't have it in my size, and plus the skirt was a length I just thought I know that I want I wouldn't wear that. It was kind of like a midi uh, leather skirt so anyway i decided to just go for the jacket so it's like just kind of thrown over the shoulders but it's quite a cropped almost like bomber style jacket this one so it's definitely something a little bit different for me and something that i don't believe i own anything like this and if you see me looking over here it's because the mirror is here so i'm just trying to see what it looks like on with it being like the first time that i've actually tried it on there's definitely a bit of creasage here which i'd need to try and fix i don't know what do you guys think i love the color of it i really like that i just don't know if it's giving like cool grandpa <laughs> let me show you this next because this is just a good classic basic i love their kind of basic sweatshirts this one's in a medium and it's already quite oversized i would say it's also only 11 pounds and it's got a really super soft fleecy inner liner which if i find that in a hoodie or in a sweatshirt I just know I'm gonna get my wear out of it because it's just so cozy. Um, but yeah, this again, similar kind of color to the vest top actually, that kind of like washed charcoal type color. And this is definitely already oversized. So the fact that this is a medium, I'm glad I didn't size up any more, which ordinarily I would for an oversized fit. But yeah, it's already quite oversized. It's got these slits on either side as well, which is perfect for me because the way that I would wear this kind of a sweatshirt is probably more of like her everyday leggings, running errands, trainers, even dog walk, that kind of thing. Cozy, round the house, snuggling up on a Sunday with a roast dinner with plenty of room for a food baby. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of so I will keep this one. I feel like I should try on this one next because this was from the Rita Ora collaboration, which can I just say is huge and this was even in the traffic center primark which is quite a small one in comparison to city center but she had so many items within her collection it's like a funnel neck or high neck uh jumper 20 pounds this one i got it in a large which is a 14 to 16 so i did size up in this one so we'll see how it fits the big test for this one for me will be if it's itchy and it doesn't feel like it straight off the bat so i think we'll be good with this one Oh, the other thing is if it's staticky, I don't like it. Oh, I don't know, is it gonna itch? Oh, I don't know, you know. Maybe like in winter, oh, I do like it. Ooh. I love the color. I feel like it's kind of similar to one that I got last time from Primark. I don't think I needed a large. Probably could have stuck with a medium. But I'm thinking if I were to wear this jumper with leggings, to have it nice and long and the sleeves are okay they're obviously quite long but they're quite wide as well so it's not like you can roll it up i just show you a bit closer up it's kind of can you see the kind of like darker gray kind of school gray speaking of school let's try on this shirt i saw two shirts in store which you'll have seen in that vlog side by side blue striped ones decided to go for this one because i already have this shirt in plain blue like this blue but plain 
and I actually wore it yesterday. I just really like it. Just thrown over like a white vest or something. It's just so easy and nice and long again. So again, if you want to wear leggings with it, in a large this one. Um, for that kind of oversized, I probably would wear it open as well. That's how I wear my other one all the time. Yeah, just a good classic, like Oxford style blue shirt. 14 pounds though for a good classic shirt like this, I just think is quite the steal. They had these in forest green as well, and these were only 14 pounds. I got a size 10. They also have the, a bit like the cult classic Topshop ones, have the furry, cozy inner liner. They don't look very high-waisted. We'll try them on. Did like the forest green ones, but I already have a pair from Topshop in that color, so I thought I'd try burgundy, which I've been seeing on socials and stuff that it is a colour that will be in and I do feel like it's a nice rich autumn colour that can go in through into winter as well. I'm going to try it on with, I've got two cream jumpers but I feel like I will try it on with this one first which is also from Primark Edit. This one I got in a medium, you can always tell the Primark Edit by the way from the labels, they have different swig, swig tags, <laughs> swing tags. I'm actually gutted because these had such high, I had high hopes for these leggings, but as predicted, when I just held them up then, they're just not high-waisted enough for me. They come below my belly button, which for me is just too low and uncomfortable. I constantly feel like I need to be hoisting them up, and sizing up isn't going to make a difference with that. So, as nice as they look, I think, like with a little cream jumper over the top of the leggings, I just know that for comfort, I would end up not wearing them because I like things high-waisted. Anyway, the jumper is lovely. I really like it. They did have this in a kind of similar colour to this one, actually, the Rita Aurora one, like a darker, it was a little bit lighter than that, I think, but it was like a darker grey. You can even go a little bit more like off-shoulder with it, pair some like knee-high boots, leggings. Well, let's try this jumper on. This one's in an extra large and this one's only 15 pounds. Again, nice high neck. Yeah, I definitely prefer the fit and the color of this one. It also feels a lot softer in comparison. I didn't think that one was too scratchy, but now I've got this one on. It's making me realize how soft, or how much softer this one is in comparison. So yeah, I feel like I will keep this one. I also, again, like that slit, so it just, doesn't, you know like sometimes jumpers, they hug and then they kind of hug under, for me anyway, like my biggest part, which just is quite unflattering when this is all baggy as well. So that slit just allows me to wear like leggings or even leather leggings, leather trousers with a jumper like this and it not cling. I have one other item to share with you and this one was something that I showed in my vlog in the cream colour and I'm actually regretting not getting the cream colour. I do like this one. But I do feel like the cream one I would maybe wear a bit more. I don't know actually. I don't know. This is like gorgeous camel, but it's like a boucle kind of fabric. Only £15. And I did get a small in this one to wear with like jeans. Now that I've got it on, I'm actually not regretting this colour at all. I do still think at £15 it's such a great price that I do want to go back and get the cream. I honestly don't know why I didn't pick up the cream. I think because I had this cream jumper as well, I thought maybe I don't need both. So that, guys, is everything that I got from Primark this month. Let me know if you want to see another one very soon because I could definitely go back, especially to the bigger store, and see what else they've got. I hope you have enjoyed today's haul. Let me know of all of these items which was your favourite in the comments down below. And again, just a friendly reminder to check out Sleep and Glow. In the description box, I will leave a link which you can head over to their website, have a look at all of their products, not just the Omnia Pillow, but the other range of products that they sell as well. Thank you to Sleep and Glow for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Thanks to you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.